a climate emergency in Pakistan, and the way forward. Ranging flood have left one-third of Pakistan submerged and supposed to disease, demonstrating that government-level intervention to date have not been nearly enough in the face of climate change to implement resilience disaster management in Pakistan. Sources say the civil society, the private sector, and the academic community must all be mobilized alongside the government to prioritize a response to climate impact. Some, include Sheba Sharif, the Prime Minister of Pakistan, argued that the international community must take a greater role in helping poorer nations deal with climate impact. Most of Pakistan, 230 million residents live along the Indus River, a water system prone to flooding in July and August during the monsoon season. Further, Pakistan houses 7,200 glaciers, the most in the world outside of the polar regions, and after extreme heat wave this summer, led to unusual heavy glacier runoff. The resultant flood after the Indus River took the lives of 1,730 people. The UN Satellite Center estimate almost 30,000 square miles were flooded, of which nearly two-thirds were croplands. As the water recedes over the coming month, more crises await the country. Snagnet rivers are spurring waters and vector-borne diseases. Food shortage are expected to arise from the flood, destruction of 9.4 million acres of agricultural land, and the loss of 1.2 million livestock. With already poor healthcare infrastructure and over 8,000 miles of damaged road and bridges, it will be nearly impossible to reach many of the most affected communities. Vulnerable communities tend to experience the brunt of these climate exposures, and if we protect them, we will be making society as a whole more resilient, as Amura Nori Sarma, assistant professor of environmental health at Boston University School and Public Health, by targeting intervention to try and reduce the health impact of climate change on those most vulnerable communities, we're naturally going to make everybody more resilient in the face of climate change. That's all for today. Thank you for watching and see you next time.